Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up and install the Capsolver browser extension. Uh, this extension currently supports Google Chrome. I believe at a later date they will have more support for other browsers too. Now there's two ways to install the extension. You can either go to the web store page, uh, you can search on the Chrome web store for Capsolver and you'll find the page and you can install it just by hitting add to Chrome. So if you add that to Chrome just like that and it's installed and we can click it up here and we can view the extension. This is one way to install it. Uh, another way is we can remove this from Chrome just like that. So now we no longer have it and you can come over to the GitHub page for the Capsule Browser extension and if you come down to here where the, you see releases you can click on releases and there's currently free but obviously we want the we want this one from three days ago so if you click that it will download uh, the extension when you do that you open it up and here you have a zip file with all the contents so what I've done is I've created a folder on my desktop called Capsolver and what you'll do is you'll export all of these files into the local folder on your desktop now what you can do, go back to Chrome and if you open up the extensions, manage the extension and if you go on to developer mode here, tick the option on and what we'll do is we'll load, we'll click on load unpacked and if we go down to our desktop and we'll select cap solver just like that and then as you can see it was as simple as that, we got the Capsolver extension that way also. So there's two ways to install it, just like that. And now obviously to make this work, we need an API key. To get the API key you need to sign into Capsolver, come to your dashboard and your API key is here. You can copy that just like that. Now obviously you need to have balance as well because it costs to solve these captures. But if you paste your key there, um, come off it so what we'll do now is we'll go to a demo page now if you could go on to the extension you can have all of these settings here so you I'm gonna untick these I only want to use recapture so I'll just uh, keep these on and it's important to know you can uh, set all the different delays to, to your requirements and you've got the token and click method uh, click method will automatically solve it and click it for you on the page whereas the token will cap solver will submit the token in the background for you and do it that way I prefer the click method it's pretty cool to watch it happen and I'll do a demonstration for that now uh, and also down here you've obviously got proxy settings and stuff like that which are recommended to use um, for the purpose of this I'm just going to go proxy list so now we have this activated and turned on any time we load a page up it should automatically solve it for us so if I reload this now as you can see it's loaded it up for me and it's clicking everything and it's solved and I submitted so we can do that again if you want to watch that again now it's found cars tick the cars and it's done now if I come to my dashboard solve it and you can see we got some usage here now um, and it was simple as that so the recapture extension which solves it for you saves you a lot of time and don't forget it supports a lot of different websites and there's a lot coming soon um, so I hope you enjoyed it have a good day